Hello, welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. I've got my morning coffee, and today we are doing a full face get ready with me of Color Pop Cosmetics. I love ColourPop. I find that for a drugstore brand, or at least they're sold on the drugstore side of Ulta, they are very affordable. They have fantastic products. Everything I've used from ColourPop, I've absolutely loved. So I personally have quite the stash of ColourPop, but for today's full face of ColourPop, I have brand new products I have never tried and some of my old standby favorites. So we are going from start to finish with today's makeup using ColourPop Cosmetics. So if you're excited, uh, get ready with me, ColourPop edition, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, I will link all of the products that I use today as well as my TikTok. Follow me there for more beauty on a budget. And we're ready to jump into this get ready with me full face of ColourPop. I've already done my morning skincare, well the majority of it today. I will link down below the skincare products that I use in the morning, but there are two additional products that I do like to put on my skin prior to applying my makeup. First is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Drops. This is a sample size from Sephora, but I also have the full size and I just really like this for that extra bit of hydration. I normally will just put two pumps on the palm of my hand and apply to my face. While that is soaking into my skin, I also use the Tula Under Eye Brightener. I really like this. I find that it gives my under eye as I'm aging that little bit of extra hydration that I need so that I don't get those crepey under eyes when applying my makeup. For primer today, since ColourPop doesn't have primer, I'm using this Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I got this in my Sephora Fresh Picks bag. If that is still available, it's such a great deal. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you. So I've just been trying to use up all of my sample primers. So I'm going to apply that next. I always like to let my primer and skincare soak into my skin for about five or 10 minutes prior to starting my makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in and let's get started. So for foundation, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This is actually a foundation that I purchased previously and I love this foundation. In fact, this is one of my very favorite foundations. So I'm going to apply about two pumps just all over my face and then we'll blend that in with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and press that into my skin. Now, I do not use a damp beauty blender. Honestly, I don't notice any difference with a dry versus a damp beauty blender. So I just use mine dry. You can do whatever works for you, but for me, I don't really notice any difference at all. So I'm going to get this all pressed into my skin and you can see just how much coverage this foundation gives. And it is such a light feeling on the skin foundation. I absolutely love it. So that ended up looking really good. I just love the coverage of this foundation. I would say that it's a medium to full coverage, but it feels really good and really light on the skin and it blends really well. Like I said, this is one of my very favorite foundations and for the quality, it's extremely affordable. So for concealer, I'm using a product that is brand new to me and this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I picked up the shade Light 1B. I do like my concealer shade to be about a shade or two lighter than my foundation. Again, as I'm aging, I go pretty light on the concealer, so I'm just going to apply just a couple of dots under each of my eyes, and then we'll go ahead and let that sink into the skin for just a couple minutes, blend it out. That blended out really nicely. I do have a mirror here too. Oh yeah, that looks really good. and does not look cakey under my eye at all. Wow. I will tell you right now, I struggle with the cakey, crepey under eyes and this concealer is giving me all of the youthful under eye vibes. Loving the concealer, I have to say it feels very hydrating. It filled in my fine lines and wrinkles well that you don't see them, which is always the expectation for concealer. So now we're gonna go ahead and set our under eye as well as the majority of our face. So I'm going to be using, again, a new to me 
ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in Translucent. And like I said, this is new to me. I've never used their setting powder. I'm a diehard Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but let's give this a try and see how it stacks up. This is obviously a much more affordable option, so I'm going to just pop a little bit here into the pan. So we have our powder and I use the Tati Beauty sponges. I love how these apply powder to the face. It makes it just sink in and look photo ready. I mean, I love these little sponges. So I'm just going to apply that under my eye. And then I do like to set, especially like the spots on my face that can get oily, which I'm not oily, but sometimes just as natural, naturally our T-zone can get a little oily. So I'll set that and then just apply just a very small amount to the rest of my face. And I use my larger Tati sponge. You get a big one and a small one in the pack. And the small one I like to use under my eyes and then the bigger one I like to use to set my face. It's so pillowy soft and it just really presses the powder into your skin so it's not sitting on top. So first impression of the setting powder, I have to say it looks really, really good. As I look here in my mirror, it has sunk into my face. My face feels set but not powdery, if you know what I mean. I actually really like this setting powder. I'm going to continue using it, see what I think as I continue to apply it, especially under my eyes. I want to see if my under eyes become crepey because with the Laura Mercier, they do not. And that's the powder I typically set my under eye with. And then I'll use a different translucent powder like the Beauty Bakery or the ColourPop to set the rest of my face but this is much more affordable and if this works for both the under eye and the face that is wonderful so I'll put here on the screen what my thoughts are at the end of the day after wearing the no filter setting powder all day for bronzer slash contour we are going to use the soul body which is a spin-off brand of ColourPop they are bronzing balm and I picked up the shade medium so I have heard rave rave reviews about this this is a cream product I am very much into cream products I find that with cream products they don't accentuate texture on the face as much they're very very blendable so this looks like a great shade for bronzer so I'm going to use my AOA shop miss a dollar kabuki brush which I love and I'm going to go in to the cream bronzer and we're going to apply it right under our cheekbone. Ooh, wow, look at that pigment. Oh yeah, that looks really good. So it blended in really nicely. It did not sheer out. I'm wondering if I can build this color up a little bit more so that I can use it both as a bronzer and a contour. I was definitely able to build that up. That looks amazing oh my gosh I am impressed so I'm going to go ahead and do oh wow it smells so good it has like a tropical smell to it so I'm going to go ahead and do my other cheek I bronze my forehead my nose and under my chin so the key with bronzer is you want to put it everywhere that the sun is going to hit your face. So I always do my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, and then I do place it right under my jawline because that just kind of hides any double chins or anything that you want and also kind of just helps contour and shape out your face. And another thing I do like to do is apply a little bit under my lip and on the top of my lip. And that gives you that pillowy lip look. I really, really, really like this cream bronzer. It builds up really well, but it can sheer out if you want it to be a little less bronze, a little less color. I love this, and this is a huge container, so this will last a, a very long time. I think it looks beautiful, very natural, and it doesn't accentuate any texture like powder products can do sometimes, but I love it. 
For blush, I'm using the Cream Blush Stick. You guys know I love cream products for my blush. This doesn't say what the color of this blush is on the packaging, but I'll go back and look at my order. I just recently ordered this one and let you guys know the color. I'll put it here on the screen and I'll link this product down below for you. Here's the color. It's kind of a mauve -y color, kind of a mauve -y coral. So I'm going to, again, take my Kabuki brush. This is from Mint Pear, and I'm going to get some of the blush onto my brush and then apply that to my cheek. So I also like to what is called blush contour. So basically I'm going to start my blush right behind the apple of my cheek and I'm going to pull it up my temple. And I know that that sounds kind of weird. You're thinking, am I going to have pink all over here on my face? No, it just helps bring your face up and helps chisel out those cheekbones a little bit. But look at how gorgeous this blush color is. I love cream blush. I love ColourPop's cream blush. So I'm going to go ahead and build that up a little bit. I'm going to put another layer because I love blush. So I'm going to add that and then we'll do the other cheek. But look at that color. Looks so good. And then I also like to take whatever product is left over on my brush and I like to sweep it over my nose for that kind of summer sunburnt vibe, which is totally in right now. But look at that cream blush. Amazing. I find with me, because I don't have oily skin, that I don't have to set my cream blush with a powder blush. A lot of times, if your skin is on the oily side, you'll want to set your cream products, whether that be with a powder version or if you just run a little bit of that translucent setting powder over your face. Because my skin is dry, normal, I don't have to do that, but I'm loving the blush. I literally, I literally love cream blush so much. I did a battle of the cream blush video, so I'll link that down below for you guys, and I will make sure that I find the color and link this as well. So now we're ready to get started on our eyes. We are going to do some highlighter, but I'm gonna show you a little pro tip when it comes to highlighter. I'm going to apply my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is just an eye primer. This is the only one that I like to use. I find that it makes my colors of my eyeshadow just pop and my eyeshadow lasts all day without creasing. I'm going to be using the Birthstone series of BH Cosmetics brushes throughout applying my eye makeup. I love these brushes. They are so affordable. You get an entire pack and they are such fantastic quality. So I'll go ahead and link the entire set Birthstone series of BH Cosmetic brushes down below for you if you're looking for a new fantastic set of eye brushes. So the eyeshadow palette that we're going to be using today is one of my very, very favorites from ColourPop. This is their Lemon Cello palette. There are the colors, and like I said, this is one of my very, very favorite palettes. Over on my Instagram, I asked you guys in a poll if you were neutral queens or color goddesses, and a lot of you said you prefer neutral, so I'm going to do a neutral eye look today, but I'm going to pop in a little bit of color because what eye look would be a gen eye look without just a little bit of color. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set my entire eyelid in crease with this yellowy color called Amalfi. So I like to just go ahead and set my eye primer and then that way the colors will build up a little bit easier. And this color here will not only serve as my base of my crease and my lid, but will also set that eye primer in place and make it a little less tacky so that my colors are a little bit easier to blend. So you can see it's just a very neutral yellow color. I'm going to go in with this color here for my crease. I just want to deepen up my crease a little bit, add a little bit more color. I also have to say that I love that this palette has a mirror. It just makes it easy so that you have a place to look to apply your makeup. So you can see that that brown is just a really pretty neutral brown, but it just deepened up my crease and added just a little bit of dimension to the eye. Now with this little bit darker shade brown up here in the corner, it's maybe one shade darker than what I used, I'm going to really concentrate that on my crease only. Again, just to deepen that up and give it a bit more dimension. These ColourPop shadows blend so beautifully. I mean, as good as high-end shadows, they just blend so, so seamlessly. So I'm really, really liking this look so far. Very neutral, but a little bit of smoky and fun to that neutral eye look as well. I have to say, this is my favorite brush in that Burstone series. It's the angled brush, and it is so perfect to do that outer V. Sometimes I struggle with getting that outer V to look 
like a V, and this just takes all the work out of it because it's completely angled and fits in your eye so well. So I'm going to go in with the darkest shade of brown and just apply that here to that outer V. So I just go ahead and place that angled brush right in my outer V, and it does all of the work for me. All I have to do is go and blend that out. So you can see that I've got the color applied and then I do like to drag it just a tiny bit under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush I used for the crease and just blend that out. Kind of soften up those edges, but leave that deepness in that outer V for some dimension. Now to start my lid, I'm going to go in with this really pretty shimmer here called Fly Girl. I like to use a flat brush for this. And I always like to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray just to get that color to transfer a bit easier onto my eye and it always makes it pop just a little bit more so I'm going to apply this Ooh, that is gorgeous look at that Wow I'm just going to apply this all over my lid that is a stunning color it is kind of a peachy copper Wow I haven't used this color in the palette yet last time I did an all yellowy lid that is absolutely beautiful. Now we'll go ahead and do the other eye. Now, if you have blue eyes, these types of colors, these oranges and these copperies are really going to make your eyes pop. But look how stunning that shade is. I'm really loving that. So now for the inner corner, I'm going to pop into this really, really bright, bright yellow. And I'm just going to apply that right into the inner corner for that pop of yellow, that pop of brightness. Now this is the color I had used in a previous eye look and it is one of the prettiest lemon yellow shimmer shades I've ever seen. I mean, wow, it's just, it's stunning. And then again, once I'm done with the inner corner, I'll take that same brush and just blend one more time just to make sure everything's blended out. One of my other favorite brushes is this really flat, dense shader brush. I use this for my lower lash line. So here's where I'm going to pop in my color. I'm going to take this beautiful blue color right down in the corner, and I'm going to smudge this under my lower lash line for that little bit of pop of blue. And then with that same brush, I did just kind of wipe off any excess blue. I'm going to take that first lighter brown shade that we used, and I'm going to apply that under my lower lash line as well, and then smudge that out for that kind of smoky, messy, dirty under eye. And you can see that just gives it that more like smudgy, worn makeup look, which is what I love for my lower lash line. So I think so far the eye look is absolutely stunning. I did want to share that pro tip with you guys about highlighter. So in the event that you don't have highlighter, you haven't purchased it, or you don't have it with you, you can use the lightest shimmery shade in an eyeshadow palette as your highlighter. So I'm actually going to use this light shade here on my Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter brush, and I'm going to use this to highlight. And look at that. It serves the dual purpose of both your lightest shimmer shade as well as a fantastic highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. Look at that. It's just like highlighter. Apply a little here above my brow bone. And then I always do just a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well as the tip of my nose and right above my Cupid's bow. I'm going to take that exact same shade and just apply a little bit under my brow bone. I am loving this look. I think this look is so pretty. It's neutral, but it's summery with that pop of yellow and that pop of blue. So I'm going to go in with the brown ColourPop crayon liner or gel liner, and I'm going to just apply a little bit of liner to my top lid, just right along my lash line. And then I'm just going to pull that out just the tiniest bit for just a very, very small wing. And onto my waterline, I'm going to take the ColourPop Gel Liner. This is from the Lush Life Collection, which is another one of my favorite palettes. And I'm just going to place this right on my lower waterline. And that'll just add that extra pop of yellow or gold to the lower lash line. 
So for mascara, a new to me ColourPop mascara is this Act Natural. And I got mine in the color black. I just love their packaging. Their packaging is so pretty. So I'm going to apply this to both my upper lashes and my lower lashes. Wow. I love how big and fluffy this wand is. I find that these types of wands not only help separate your lashes, but also help give them some volume. That is one coat of mascara. I can't believe how wonderful this mascara is. So there's one coat of the mascara. I usually only will put one coat on my upper lashes when I do false lashes, and then I'll generally put one to two coats on my lower lashes. The first impression of this mascara is it is incredible. I have to say this is probably one of the best mascaras I've used to give you that instant volume and blackness to your lashes with one single coat. I am thoroughly impressed with all of these first impression products from ColourPop so far. I decided that I'm not going to apply false lashes today because I really want to put this mascara to the test. I want to know if it's buildable, if it's transfer, transfer proof, and if it can really give my lashes that volume that I get with an artificial lash. So this is the second coat that I am applying and I can't believe how good this mascara works. It is separating my lashes, but it's also giving them just a ton of volume. I have to say that I can't believe I'm doing a get ready with me full face of makeup without using false lashes. Who am I? I'm actually extremely impressed with this mascara. I feel like it makes it look like I have a natural artificial lash and I do not have the longest lashes in the world because I do wear false lashes so much that my lashes just tend not to be as long as other people who have never worn are very rarely wear false lashes, but this mascara is making me feel extremely confident with just my natural lashes. I'm honestly completely stunned. So there are my lashes with three coats of the mascara on the upper lash and two on the bottom. I, I have no words. I mean, this is the best mascara I've ever used. If you are not an artificial lash person, but you still want to have that fullness of your natural lashes, whether they're long or not, I, I Again, no words. So for my brows, I'm gonna be using the Feather Effect Brow Wax. So recently I've gotten way more into the brow wax or the soap brows. I don't like mine to be really full and fluffy, but I love that brow wax not only shapes your brows, but holds them in place. So with ColourPop, I ended up picking up a colored wax. So this is actually tinted Feather Effect Styling Wax, and this is in their dark brown shade. So for me, I have quite a few I natural eyebrows. So I just like to very lightly fill in some of the sparse areas. So this serves a dual purpose. It will serve as a brow gel or brow mascara and give you the color, but it'll also set your brows since it's a styling wax. So I am so excited to try this. So with any type of wax product, you're going to want to use a spoolie and you want to get your spoolie wet with some setting spray or water before actually going into the wax. And then you're just going to drag your spoolie into the wax and then use it to fluff your brows and set them in place. So I want to see if this brow wax not only gives me set brows, but also adds that little bit of color that I need to fill in those sparse areas. And this also has a little mirror on it, which is really nice. So I've done this brow and I have not done this brow. So first impression, it doesn't give a lot of color, but you can see that this brow is definitely darker than this brow. So it did give me a little bit of color and as I brushed up with the spoolie, it did fill in a lot of those sparse areas. So I really like this. If you like a more natural looking brow, you want some color, you want some tint, you want your sparse brows filled in, but you don't want, you know, plastered to your face, crunchy brows, this would be fantastic. So let me go ahead and do the other brow. It feels really good. And my brow does not feel crunchy at all, which is also nice. It feels very natural. So my brows are done. First impression of this, I really like it. I do have a clear wax from Patrick Ta that I love. I'll link that one down below for you guys as well. Obviously this is going to be much more affordable, but 
And this one also comes in clear as well, but I'll link them both for you in case you're interested in the Patrick Ta one. But first impression, I really like this. And my brows, they're not crunchy at all. They feel very natural, but they are set into place and they do have that little bit of tint that I like. So 10 out of 10 so far. So for our lips, I picked up the Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. Now I prefer a much more neutral look. I like to zhuzh up my eyes with fun eye colors. So when it comes to my lips, I like it to be a much more neutral look. So here's the shade. You can see that it's kind of a pinky brown. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I generally will overline my top lip just a little bit and my bottom lip just a little bit as well. So this is a very my lips color. So I'm not getting a lot of color, but it is going to serve the purpose I need it to do, which is to line my lips to keep my lip product in place. So my lips are lined. I actually really like the color. It's not as in your face as I thought that it would be as far as a nude goes, but I actually really like it. It went on nice and easy. It's very creamy. It is a product that you do have to sharpen. So it's not a retractable lip pencil, but they're so inexpensive and it was nice and creamy and easy to apply. For lip color, I'm using their Luxe Gloss in the shade Lust. Now I'm not really a lipstick person. I am much more a lip gloss person. Here's the shade, it is gorgeous. So I much prefer a gloss that has a little bit of a tint to it. It has a nice doe foot applicator. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like orange creamsicle, yum. I really, really like this color. Wow, I really like it, it smells incredible. And last but not least, I'm going to set my face. I do not have a ColourPop setting spray, so this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray in Peach. I don't even know if this is still available, but I am gonna go ahead and set my face, and then I'll be back to share my final thoughts. So before I zoom you out, I just wanna give you another close-up of today's look. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely thoroughly impressed with every single product. Of course, I had my ColourPop tried and true, the ones that I personally owned before putting in my order to do this full face of ColourPop, but I love not only what I own, but every single one of these first impression products has been amazing. I love the mascara. I can't get over the mascara, the brow wax, the concealer, the setting powder, the lip liner and lip gloss. I can't, this orangey taste, smell on my lips it makes me so happy. I am 100% thoroughly impressed with every single ColourPop product. I also have to give a special shout out to that cream bronzer contour. It is so natural looking on my skin. And as I'm aging, I'm realizing that cream products are really the way to go because they don't accentuate the texture as much as powdered products. I'm loving cream blush, as you know, and cream bronzer. I'm still using a lot of powdered highlighters, but I did order my very first creamy highlighter, and I'll share that with you guys in a future video, kind of my, I'll share my opinion on that and how I feel about that versus powder but I'm loving this look. You take advantage of those light shimmer shades in your palettes to incorporate as highlighter. Definitely get the Lemoncello palette. There are so many different looks that you can do with it. Colorful, neutral, neutral with a pop of color like we did today. I have to say that I really, really like this look. I can't wait to wear this all day. And I will put here on the screen how everything wore throughout the day. All of the cream products, the mascara, the powder, just how everything wore throughout the day. And again, everything will be linked down below for you. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this look and happy shopping because I would highly recommend every single one of these products. So if you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me ColourPop Edition, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to follow me over on TikTok for more Beauty on a Budget. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Hopefully you enjoyed your morning cup of coffee right along with me, and I'll see you all in my next video.